Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. And in today's GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, we're gonna be looking at all things volume. So we're gonna look at how to change our volume, how to set mute and solo, and how to pan our tracks to the left and right. So let's jump in and have a look. So I've got here a little uh, track that I've put together. You can see it's got three tracks here, and it's a little jazz number using Apple Loops that goes like this. So nice little track there, it's got a bass, some uh, some drum loops, a bass loop, and a flute. So this is obviously a very simple example, but it gives us a good idea of what we're doing. Now you'll notice here that I've already slid out my volume controls here, but when you first open GarageBand, you'll be presented with a view like this. And if you've never jumped in and had a look at how to actually change your volume, this will probably change your world. What you can do is jump into the settings here, and then go in and adjust your volume and your mute solo there. But the easier way, if you're mixing a track, is to slide out that little slider, and you can see now we can adjust the levels of each of these tracks independently and mix those together to our heart's content. So let's just do that and play back and do a little bit of mixing on the fly here to see what this sounds like. There you go, that sounds about right. So what we've done is we've, we've dropped down the volume of the drums, we've uh, put the bass sort of a little bit louder so that cuts through, and then we've got the flute there somewhere in between. So it's a quick way that we can do that. The other options we've got here is our uh, solo and our mute functions. So if we wanted to hear just our bass, we can simply mute by tapping on the drums and the flute. Go back to the start of our track and press play, and we'll be hearing just the bass. We can do that another way as well. So if you've got a whole bunch of different tracks and you don't want to have to go through and mute a bunch of different tracks to get a solo, you can just uh, go and unmute those and hit this little button. We'll try again. And when those little headphones turn yellow, that means that you're soloing that track. So we'll play again. And the same thing, we've got a solo track on our bass. So we can listen to the bass, we can adjust the volume, we can add effects, we can do whatever we want to do with that without having to jump in and do anything differently. So, there's one more thing here, and unfortunately on the iPhone, what we can't do is adjust the pan. So what is the pan? Well, that's the left and right. So if you want to push some instruments to the left, some to the right, you'll need to actually jump into the settings. So we can do that by selecting the track. We'll just uh, go back to having all our tracks. So let's say we want this bass over on the left. We'll tap the bass, and we'll hit the settings button, and this track pan, so we've got the same options here, mute, solo, and volume. But this track pan, we can take all the way over to the left, or we can put any sort of variance in between there, and hit done. And then we can do the same with our flute, but let's push that over the other side, and over to the right. Now, this is not going to really sound like much, because I'm only playing out of the mono speaker on the iPhone here. So, But if you're listening through a stereo output, or through headphones, then you're going to be able to hear that you've got one instrument over to the left, and one to the right, 